Patty again, and it's time for our live chair yoga class. So, if you're following along from home, we're gonna use block and a strap today. If you don't have a yoga block, you're welcome to take some books and wrap them in a towel, um, a strap. If you don't have a yoga strap, you can use a strap from a robe or even a longer towel. We're just gonna use it for support. So we're gonna sit in our chairs with our spine straight, shoulders relaxed. We just wanna pay attention to what you're doing and how it feels. We wanna stay connected with our breath, the sensations and the emotions going through us as we run this class. Now we're gonna take a nice deep inhale. Feel the breath come into your lungs, your chest and lungs expand and hold. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Now on this exhale, we're going to turn our head to the right and inhale center and exhale to the left and inhale center, exhale chin to chest, inhale center, exhale right ear to right shoulder and hold. So keep breathing. And inhale, center. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder and hold. Keep breathing. And inhale, center. And exhale. Now we're gonna drop our right ear to our right shoulder again. We're gonna do neck roll forward to the left, forward, to the right, forward, left, forward, right, and back to center. Now we're gonna drop our hands down to our sides and we're gonna lift our shoulders up as we inhale. Exhale, pushing them back and down. Inhale your shoulders up, exhale back and down, inhale up, and exhale back and down. Now with our right arm, we're going to take it behind us as we inhale. Inhale up, and we're going to exhale bringing it forward and down. Inhale back. Exhale forward and down, inhale back, and exhale forward and down. I'm taking the opposite hand now and backing up. Exhale forward and down, inhale back and up, exhale forward down, and one more inhale back and up and exhale forward and down. Now let's inhale our arms all the way up. Then we'll exhale to a T, and we're gonna do some small arm circles forward. And settle back at a T. I have a stu live studio audience today. <laughs> and we're gonna reverse. And back to your T. Now we're gonna turn our thumbs up and we're gonna inhale and we're gonna exhale as we push forward and roll our shoulders. Then we're gonna turn our thumbs down. Exhale as we push back. Thumbs up, inhale. Roll forward. Thumbs down, push back and hold and release. Now inhale our arms up and we're going to go to prayer and as you exhale bring your hands down heart center 
We're gonna push our palms together and then also toward the mat. So if they come apart a little bit, that's okay because we're stretching our wrists. Now we're gonna turn the backs of our hands together and we're gonna bring our elbows toward the earth. And release and shake that out, rotate those wrists. Now remember when you do yoga that each pose should be a balance of effort and ease. So during a pose, you're gonna scan your body for all unnecessary tension and back it off if you feel anything. If you're holding your breath, you feel like you're pushing too hard, again, back it down. Don't strain, you need to enjoy the, benefit, the pose for its benefits. So if you're doing it even at 50 to 60%, that's acceptable. All right, let's inhale our arms back up and exhale to a T. We're gonna bring our right arm across, our left arm up and pull for that right shoulder stretch. Exhale back out to a T. Bring that left arm across, right arm up for that left shoulder stretch. And back out to a T. And release. Now we're gonna look up. And we do, we're gonna reach, reach up. We're gonna grab an imaginary strap and exhale as you pull that strap down. So you're gonna inhale up. Grab that strap, exhale as you pull it down. One more time, inhale up, grab that strap, and exhale as you pull it down, and release. Now scooting up just a little bit in our chair, we don't wanna be all the way to the back. We're gonna extend our legs and our arms, and we're going to flex out our fingers and toes as wide as we can, stretch those out. Now curl them in. and flex, and curl, and flex, and release. Now let's scoot up even further in our chair. We're gonna extend our feet out in front of us, point our toes. Remember to keep your spine straight, your shoulders relaxed. Now you're gonna flex your feet back, and point. And flex and point and flex and relax. Leaving the right foot out, let's bring our left leg back. We're going to grab the front legs of our chair. We're going to inhale, extend, and fold forward over that extended leg. And inhale up and bring that right leg in. We're gonna stretch that left leg out. Again, inhale, extend, fold forward over that extended leg. And inhale up, bring that leg in. Scoot back just a tiny bit so you're halfway back in the chair and we'll grab our strap. Again, you can use a a robe sash or a long towel. You're gonna to put it around the bottom of both feet. Now we're gonna lift our legs up and point those toes and flex and point and flex, point and flex, and release. Leaving your right foot in, we're gonna take our left one out. We're gonna raise that right leg up, give a little extra stretch. A little back level, and we're gonna bend our knee, and extend, and bend, and extend, bend, and extend and hold. Now we're gonna transfer the straps both to the right hand. We're gonna slowly open up our hip. And 
bring that leg back in front of you, keeping it extended, but releasing the tension on your strap and hold. And release. Go ahead and put our left foot in. We'll take our right one out. Then we'll lift that left leg up. Okay, back to level. And bend that knee. And extend. And bend. Extend. Bend. And extend and hold. Transferring both straps to our left hand. We're going to slowly open up that left hip. Bring that front back in front of you. Releasing the tension on the strap and hold. And release. And you may remove your strap. Now we're going to um, spread our legs as wide as the legs of our chair. And we're going to inhale our arms up. And we're going to exhale folding forward. Want the crown of your head toward the earth. Fingers forward. If you want to get a little bit deeper stretch, you can go ahead and turn your fingers back behind you to the wall behind you. If you've turned your fingers backward, go ahead and turn them forward now. And inhale up. And exhale. And one more forward fold. Let's inhale our arms up. And we exhale, folding forward and down. This time we're going to take our right hand and leap, move it on over to our left foot, calf, or ankle. We're going to raise that left arm up and open up to the left. Still trying to keep the crown of your head toward the mat. Bring that left hand down, move it on over to your right foot, ankle or calf, and then we're going to raise that right arm up and open to the right. Right hand down. And inhale up. And exhale. Okay, still seated about midway through your chair. We are gonna scoot our legs in a little bit. We're gonna do a cross. We're gonna take that one leg, right leg up and over our left. And take your left elbow, the outside of your right knee. You wanna keep your chest extended. You're gonna take your right arm on the back of your chair and give a little bit of a torso twist. Remember to keep breathing. If you feel any tension, back it off a little bit. And we come forward, but leaving that leg up, we're just gonna move it into that figure four position. We're going to engage that foot, knee you want to be fall toward the earth. Inhale up and fold forward. Now remember, if it's too much tension on your hips, you can extend that foot that's on the floor. And we'll inhale up and exhale, releasing that pose. And we're gonna go the opposite side now, taking that left leg up and over the right. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee, left arm on behind the chair and a little torso twist. To make sure that your chest is extended. Coming forward again, leaving that foot up again, put a net in the figure four. Engage that foot, knee wants to fall towards the earth. Inhale. And exhale, folding forward. Releasing any tension on your hip by extending the foot out that's on the floor. And 
then inhale up and exhale, releasing that pose. Okay, one more time. We're gonna move over to the side of our chair so that your um, right side is completely off. We're gonna extend that right leg, right hand down on your thigh. Left arm's gonna come up as you fold over to the right. It's gonna open up your left side real nice and uh, wide. As you bring your um, left arm back up and down, you wanna put it on the side of your chair. You're gonna turn in your chair so that the top of your extended foot is in connection with the earth. Go ahead and turn in, and we'll bring that leg in, slide on over, and then go all the way over to the left. Extending that left leg out, left hand on the thigh, right arm up, and give a nice opening on the right side. Nice stretch over here. And we'll go ahead and bring that right hand back down to the chair. Again, turning in your chair so the top of your extended foot is connected with the earth. Turn back to center, bringing that leg in, center ourselves in our chair. Now let's do one big inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna stand. We're gonna move to the back of our mat. You want your um, feet parallel and at hips width. As you inhale up, you're gonna lean back And as you exhale, you're going to fold forward, spread eagle those arms, roll all the way down. So your hands connect to the mat. Your crown of your head is toward the earth. Now you're going to grab your elbows and you're going to straighten and bend alternating knees. Go ahead and release your hands to the mat. Now we're gonna reach up behind our back and interlace our fingers. If you'd like to deepen this stretch, you can raise your arms up behind you. If you've raised them, go ahead and lower them. Let's unlace our fingers and drop our hands back to the mat. step closer to our chair but just so enough you have a body with you want to be able to get a, a nice flat back you want to grab that arms of your chair your feet are still parallel and hips width you want to grab that back and get into that nice flat back for the cow a nice inhale and on your next exhale you're going to roll up into that cat and inhale down to your cow Exhale up into cat. Inhale down into cow. And hold, but keep breathing. And bring yourself back up. Now we're gonna take one more step closer to the chair. This time when we um, inhale, we're gonna fold forward and re release a leg up behind us. So as we inhale, and extend, you're gonna fold forward, raising your left leg. You wanna keep your um, hips as parallel to the mat as you can. Now we're gonna bend our knee and extend and bend and extend, bend, extend and hold. 
If you'd like to go deeper, you can drop that left hand into the chair, open up to the right, raising your right arm up. So that both your um, leg and your arm are extended. And if you've opened, come on back to the chair, leaving that leg extended, we'll pulse that. One, two, three, and release. I told you the wrong leg there, so you're probably a little confused, so I apologize. <laughs> okay, inhale, extend, we're gonna use the opposite leg this time. Inhale, extend, folding forward, raising that leg behind you. Most of the people that watch this know that I do that all the time. And we're gonna bend that leg and extend and bend extend and bend extend and hold now if you've got your left leg up you're going to drop your right hand into the chair and you're going to lift your left hand arm up and left leg so you're both your left you're opening up to the left, so both your arm and your leg are extended. Now coming back down to the chair, but leaving that leg up, we're going to pulse. One, two, three, and release. Okay. Now let's move our chair off to the left side of our mat. And you want to find some nice firm footing with your left toes spread as wide as you can because you're going to be using this left leg as balance. So engage your core, raise your right knee. If you can put your right arm out, left. If you need to hang on to the chair, please do so because we're going to extend our leg and then bend and extend, bend. Extend and hold. And release. Now we're gonna go into a tree pose. Again, keeping that left foot nice and firm. You're gonna open up your um, right hip, toes on the mat. You can put them up on your calf or all the way up on your thigh. Just not, try not to put any pressure on your knee. And right arm, left, and both up. Remember to keep your core engaged. Do best to find a focal point on the ceiling or the floor in front of you. And release. All right, let's move our chair to the other side. We're going to find nice firm footing with that right foot now. Spread those toes as wide as you can. And we're going to raise that left leg up. Left arm, right arm, and extend, and bend, extend, and bend, extend and hold, and release. And for that tree pose, again, we're going to open up this hip, toes on the mat, on your calf, all the way up on your thigh, left arm, gauge your core, right, and both arms up. And release. Okay, we're gonna move our chair off to the side. You can keep it near you for warrior poses if you need balance, otherwise just go ahead and move it away. Again, we're gonna stand with our hips our feet at hips width, parallel to each other, as we inhale up, and fold forward and down, and inhale up, and exhale. Okay, we're going to take a nice big step with that right foot. Left knee or right knee bent, but not knee not to overextend the toes. You want your left foot back at a 45 degree angle. You're turning your torso in. Both arms up for warrior one.
Now I'm going to take my right hand and lower it down onto the mat, leaving my left arm extended. Back up to warrior one. Hands to prayer, heart center. You're going to turn that back foot out so that it's parallel to the back of your mat. You're turning your torso out now. Knee is still bent, not extending your toes. Stretching our arms out, looking out over those right fingertips for warrior two. You're going to turn that palm up. You're going to drop that left hand. You're going to bring that arm up and over for reverse warrior. And back to warrior two. Back to warrior one. Now inhale, extend, and fold forward. And inhale up. Exhale, turning forward, and we're gonna release and heel toe our feet together. Take a deep breath, and we're gonna move on to the other side. We're gonna take a nice big step with that left leg. Again, left knee bent, not to overextend the toes. Right foot back at that 45 degree angle, turning your torso up, arms up, warrior one. Go ahead and lower that right hand, excuse me, left hand down and side the left foot, leaving that right foot extended, right arm extended, excuse me. Back up to warrior one. Hands to prayer, heart center as you turn your torso out and your back right foot parallel to the back of your mat. Keeping that knee still extended, we're gonna extend our arms out, looking out over our left fingertips for warrior two. Turn that left palm up, drop that right arm. We're gonna bring it up and over for reverse. Back to warrior two. Back to warrior one. Inhale, extend, fold it forward and down. Let's inhale up and exhale, turning our feet parallel and heel toe your feet together. And we're gonna now lower ourselves down onto the mat. You want to make sure you have your block and your strap nearby for this. We are going to start with our legs extended and we're going to put that strap around the bottom of both of our feet. Now we're going to inhale and as we inhale we're going to exhale, excuse me, we're going to fold forward leading with your heart and then roll into that fold. We're going to see if you can stretch a little bit further, bringing your hands a little bit closer to your feet. Inhale, fold forward, leading with your heart, and roll into that fold. Remember to keep breathing. If you find yourself having trouble, back it down a little bit. We'll raise your back up a little bit. And inhale up. Now with our feet both in the strap, we're gonna bend our knees and then we're gonna lift them up into the boat. Go ahead and lower your toes, your heels back down to the mat. And we'll do that one more time. 
I'll lift up into that boat. I'm really working to engage your core, so try not to pull too hard on your straps, but just for support. And lower down. Extending those legs, we're gonna leave that right foot in. We'll take the left one out. We're gonna lift that leg up. And we'll bend that knee. And extend. And bend. And extend. Now let's point that toe. And flex. Point. Flex and lower. Go ahead and put that left foot in, take that right one out. And we'll lift that left leg up. And we'll bend and extend and bend, extend. Now let's point our toe and flex. Point. Flex and release. You go ahead and remove your strap. We're going to go ahead and open our legs. There's a nice wide V. We're going to walk our hands forward. I'm going to go ahead and walk them on over to your right leg. Walk them back to center and on over to your left. And back to center. And then walk them in, sitting upright. And we're going to go ahead and bring our soles of our feet together. Let your hips relax. Let your feet as your knees fall toward the mat. If you'd like to deepen that, you can fold forward. If you fold it forward, let's come on back up. Let's go ahead and bring our knees in. We're going to wrap our arms tight around those knees. And this time we're going to open up to the boat without any support of our strap. Ready? And open up to the boat. Engage your core. And go ahead and bring yourself back in. And go ahead and stretch those legs out again. We're gonna take one leg up and over. And we're gonna take, so I'm using my left, I'm gonna bring my left hand back behind me. I'm gonna inhale my right arm, straight arm up, and let it fall down so that the elbow's on the outside of that knee. And I'm gonna turn and look over my left shoulder. Come back forward, releasing that leg, and we will reverse that. Using my right one up and over my left, so my right arm's coming back behind me. Inhaling my left arm up so that the elbow lands on the outside of my right knee, looking back over my right shoulder. Go ahead and come back forward. And releasing those legs. Let's go ahead and bring our knees in and we're going to squeeze really tight. And then as you slowly relax all your muscles, you're going to lay slowly lower yourself down to flat on the mat, making sure your block is nearby. And we're going to bring our feet in so that they are flat on the mat. And you want to bring them in as close as, so that your um, fingertips can touch the backs of your heels. And we're going to raise our hips up into a bridge pose. And lower your hips back down. You're going to raise those up one more time into that bridge. And lower. 
Now this time when you raise up, you're gonna take your block and you're gonna put it under your hips. So when you come back down, your hips will land on your block. Then we're gonna bring our knees in. We're gonna point our toes to the ceiling for the inversion. And we're gonna take our right leg and slowly lower it down to the mat. Right leg up. Alternating left down. Left up. Right down. Right up. Left down. Left up and hold. Now we're going to let our legs fall open into that wide V. Now flex your feet. Go ahead and bring your feet back together. Bend your knees, lower your feet to the mat, raise your hips, remove that block. And we're going to lower our hips back down to the mat. Now we're going to ex um, slide your feet out to the edges of your mat. And we're going to go ahead and windshield wiper our legs left and right. Now come back to center. With your legs still wide, you're going to bring your knees up and we're going to grab up and reach into that happy baby pose. Grab your toes or your feet if you can. Go ahead and lower your feet back down to the mat. Bring your feet, knees and feet together. Go ahead and stretch your arms out to a T on the sides. We're going to drop our knees to the right. Looking to the left, but try to keep both shoulder blades connected to the mat. Bring those knees up, and we're going to reverse to the opposite side. We're looking over to the right now with your um, shoulder blades still connected to the mat. come back to center with our knees up. We're going to go ahead and wrap our arms around our knees. Shoulders up, nose to knees. We're going to go ahead and push our right leg out toward the wall across from us. Not up, but out. And then bring that right knee in. Push the left one out. Left knee in. Right one out. Right knee in. Left one out, left knee in and hold. We go ahead and lower your shoulders back down to the mat. And while you've got your um, hands wrapped around your knees here, let's go ahead and roll out our lower back, massaging if you squeeze tight, giving those internal organs a nice massage as you roll back and forth. And come back to center. We're going to raise our shoulders, nose to knees again. Give every muscle in your body a nice tight squeeze. You want to squeeze everything. And then you're slowly lower your shoulders, stretching your legs, your toes pointing to one wall, your fingers pointing to the opposite, feeling that stretch all the way through your abdomen and that elongated stretch. And then squeeze. Curl ourselves back into that nice tight baby ball and roll. Squeeze every muscle you can. Feel it all the way from your toes to your eyebrows. And then go ahead and lower yourself slowly to the mat. And relax every muscle, feeling it from your toes and your ankles, your knees, your upper legs. Feel your hips relax. 
Good, and navel to fall into your back toward the lower mat. Feeling your hands and your wrists, your arms relax. Feel your shoulders relax, your neck. Feel your chin relax as your mouth falls open, your cheeks and your eyelids and your forehead. Go ahead and stay here for as long as you like. Get yourself a nice, comfortable position where you just think about how your body feels. We are gonna go ahead and wrap it up. So slowly bring, roll yourself to your side and bring yourself up if you're gonna follow along. Otherwise, go ahead and stay where you are and you just finish on your own at home. Otherwise, we're gonna bring ourselves up to a seated position. And we're gonna do some nice deep inhales up. And exhale. And inhale. Exhale. Inhale to prayer. Exhale, heart center. Namaste. Thank you for joining us live today, and we hope to see you soon.